Welcome to my craft room. <laughs> Yay 2020. You've had great patience, but something knocked you out. You felt your limitations and filled your mind with doubt. You want to stay chill right now and don't let your If you came here for some holiday cheer, I'm really glad you made it. Back to do it on a dime with Catherine. Today is a cleaning motivation, frugal tips and tricks video. Let me be on your team today and let's clean together. This is everything we need to wrap and this is all the stuff I need to put away. <laughs> you guys but lately I feel like I can't even get five minutes to myself but recently a viewer commented she feels like she can do anything for five minutes she reminds herself of that and gets up and gets something done even if it's really small and her comment really inspired me I've said in other videos a done something is better than a perfect nothing but sometimes I forget it for myself so it's always good to be reminded of that it doesn't all have to be done for it to be good There's only about five minutes left of the video. Hey, if you want to work with me, what could we get done together? And who knows, you might uncover something fun. I found a nail file I know I didn't purchase in my ceiling fan and a piece of chocolate. I mean, I guess tis the season, right? You had me at low. Cause where you go is where I go. I usually have my daily cleaning routines and my monthly cleaning routines. And around this time of year, I like to make sure to focus on the kitchen so I'm all ready for the holiday. And today I'm deep cleaning the oven and oh man, did it need it. And I wanna share with you an amazing product from Dollar Tree. This oven cleaner is about the same as Easy Off that you're gonna find in the more expensive stores. And it works really well. It works best on a warm oven. I heat up mine to 150 degrees. I put on a mask and spray a light coat on and let it sit for about five minutes and wipe it away. All of the grime practically melts away. This is so satisfying, so fast, and I think a lot easier than the baking soda and vinegar. Plus, a lot less messy. One thing I'm reminding myself of this year, even though this Christmas looks so different, is to keep the traditions alive, even if it's unconventional. One tradition we have every year is saltine crackers, and we melt butter and brown sugar on the stove until it bubbles. Pour it over the top of the saltine crackers, bear with me, you're gonna love it, and bake at 400 degrees for about five or six minutes. Pull it out of the oven and just melt down some chocolate in your microwave and spread it over the top. This is so fun to do with kids, and once it cools, break it up, and you have the most delicious Christmas toffee. You have to let me know if you give this one a try. It's so frugal and good. I got you, and you got me. I just love seeing what other people are doing around their homes to genuinely save time. Nothing in this video is sponsored. They're just things that I've found that work super well. I am loving Dawn Power Spray. I use this in my microwave. I use it in my kitchen sink. You just spray it on, let it sit, and I feel like things clean off so much easier. I got asked on Instagram what I do to save time cleaning the floors, and I found myself using my Shark Steam Mop way more. And the secret is obviously the steam, but I also put a splash of rubbing alcohol and Dawn dish soap inside, and this cleans the floors so fast, and I don't have to get any water ready or make a big mixture in my mop. Me, 
I'm also loving the Mr. Clean spray in my sink. It's very similar to the Dawn Power Wash. It cleans really fast and I feel like gives it a fresh scent. And I always use magic erasers on the walls to get off the soap scum. It's really fast. I've been saving you. If you have any great cleaning tips that you're loving right now that save you time, leave a comment down below. I'd love to give them a try and incorporate it in a future video. You got me too. I use zone cleaning to keep my house pretty clean and tidy, and today I'm focusing on the main living areas, so the downstairs living room and our bonus room. We've been doing homeschool for the past almost year now, so today I'm working through and decluttering some toys that the kids no longer use in preparation for Christmas and cleaning up the school area. This space gets so messy so fast. This desk is super beat up, so I've got to clean it. I use an all-purpose cleaner on the table, and then to get out crayon marks and paint, I use magic erasers. And I use my Bissell Pro Heat to clean off any glue stains from the chairs. and then I vacuum. Please try this trick if you haven't. Put your favorite essential oil in the filter of your vacuum, and when you're cleaning, the entire room will smell so good. I love essential oils, maybe not as much as some people, but this is the one trick that actually fills the entire room, and you will be so glad you tried it. I don't know if you're like this too, but when things are really challenging and messy, they seem more overwhelming. And when it gets clean, I feel like I'm a lot more grateful for the little things. And now on to clean the guest bedroom, AKA my craft room. <laughs> So many of you guys ask what happens to all of my Dollar Tree crafts. I use most of them. I gift some of them that I've shown in videos and some of them end up in this room and then I organize them for future seasons. I have wheelie carts and project bins so I can easily pull from those things. I would love for this room to be just a craft room with a huge table, but it's not realistic for our family right now, so we're making it work. check out this fun trick. I have a mini over the hinge box that stores all of my paints. I'll be sure to link this down below for you guys. It's great if you're working with a small space. Honestly, if you're feeling overwhelmed by cleaning, don't be afraid to lower the bar and then lower it again. Well, we will put cinnamon on the elf and it will revive him. We did it last year, remember? I do. <laughs> I feel like sometimes there can be undue pressure over the holidays to make things super special or magical and we feel like we're not doing enough or giving enough to our kids. And sometimes what we're able to give, it feels like it's a big fat failure. Maybe the candy ones is too heavy. But I promise it is enough. The first Christmas was pretty simple and it's cool if yours is too. Now it's not the pizza. Oh, which more pizza is it? Let's see what's on my pizza. You gotta get you got a gingerbread pizza. Mm. That looks really good. Pizza cheers. I'll see you guys next time.